Hey everybody, I'm here in beautiful downtown Hollywood and I thought I would take a walk up Harrison Street from Dixie Highway to 20th just to see how many store closures there exactly are. Starting with... Almost the entire block is vacant. Almost the entire block. That is one, two, three, four storefronts that are actually vacant here. Lola's is the only thing existing, and I'm not really certain how they are existing. If I pan over here to the south side of the street, you can see that we have uh, Hollywood Vine here. Hollywood Vine is one of the three uh, wine shops on Harrison Street alone. You know, Hollywood has to do everything in multiples. As we're walking up the street here and walking east on, on Harrison Street, I'm going to uh, pan across the street here to one of the uh, recent renovations in uh, downtown Hollywood. It looks like there's a couple of things that are actually open in there. Uh, one delicatessen, and if you take notice, that is the only thing so far that is uh, open on the street, and I've already gone like half the block. This right here is the um, Holocaust Museum. It used to be a bar. Heavy cameras, you see. It used to be a bar, and from what I understand, uh, O.J. Simpson was actually at this bar one night. Um, I wasn't there, but I used to work with this little nerdy girl, and uh, she told me that they were all partying there, and uh, her boyfriend just happened to take a picture uh, with O.J., and uh, my thoughts on that are, O.J., uh, I think you're innocent, man. You didn't do anything. All right. Now the hunt for crazies has just begun. We are now entering Young Circus Park. Here we go. Well, I'm walking through the park, and I haven't quite seen any crazy people yet. But there are plenty of people here in the park. If you want to call 10, plenty. But hey, for downtown Hollywood, 10's a whole lot. There's someone actually getting their picture taken. And right next to them are some park hoodlums. As you can see, the park hoodlums have gotten much younger. But I am on the hunt for a crackhead. So let's go. Here's some Sunday entertainment and uh, Young Circus Park for all the crackheads. And I do believe this guy is playing Journey in the park. He ran the door. We gotta cut this shit right now. So. If you were to ask me, I think the flute player back there singing Journey has driven all the crackheads off. So our next stop is going to be Publix Young Circle. I guarantee you we're about to find some crackheads there. Not that I have to pee or anything, but let's see what's going on in the public bathrooms here at beautiful Young Circle Park. Well, it doesn't look like there's much of anything at all going inside the public bathrooms here at Young Circle Park. Let's take a quick graffiti look, though. There's always some great graffiti in public restrooms. Pure craziness. I don't see any graffiti at all. That guy was waiting on the bus, and he was also using the bus stop as a changing station. Go figure. Still looking for crazy people. We are now inside the Publix at Young Circle. 